NASCARs Greatest Drivers by Angela Roberts Illustrated with Photographs Introduction NASCAR Fever Imagine zooming around a racetrack at nearly 200 miles per hour. It's over 120 degrees in your car. You're hot, thirsty, and strapped into a tiny seat. You must stay focused for 400, 500, even 600 miles as tens of thousands of roaring fans cheer you on. A lot of money is at stake. And pride. Will you be the first to cross the finish line? There is no stopping a NASCAR driver or the sport itself. There are NASCAR racetracks all over the country, from New York to California. 75 million people call themselves NASCAR fans. The sport that started small on dirt tracks and beaches in the South is now the hottest sport in America. NASCAR is called stock car racing because the cars driven in the early days of the sport came from a car dealer's regular supply, or stock, of cars. Today's stock car racers still drive standard cars, although now they're made to be driven safely and quickly on a track. This makes NASCAR very different from other styles of racing. For example, indie car racing has always used specially made race cars built from the ground up. Unlike other sports with seasons of only a few months, NASCAR racing takes place almost all year long. The first race is in February. It's the Big Daytona 500. The drivers have a chance to compete in 35 more races through November, racking up as many points as they can. They each hope to win the Nextel Cup, NASCAR's biggest prize. The champion claims the trophy and more than $5 million in bonus money. Many NASCAR fans have a favorite driver. They love to wear hats and t-shirts to show their loyalty. There have been many great NASCAR stars for fans to cheer on. Let's meet some of the best of all time. Gene Fireball Roberts 1929-1964 February 18, 1962 Daytona Beach, Florida A crowd of more than 58,000 fills the stands at one of NASCAR's newest and most important tracks, the Daytona International Speedway. Lots of them are there to root for the famous Fireball Roberts. He is one of NASCAR's most popular drivers, and his fans want to see him win. Many great drivers are racing. But Fireball owns the road driving his number 22 Pontiac. He takes the lead in 144 out of 200 laps. After three tough hours of racing, Fireball spots the checkered flag. He's close to the victory he wants so badly. Fireball presses the gas pedal and sails across the finish line only 27 seconds ahead of the second-place finisher. Fireball has done it. The crowd in Daytona Beach explodes in cheers. But Fireball is quiet. He's enjoying the victory he has dreamed about so many times. Glenn Roberts grew up in Apopka, Florida, not far from Daytona Beach. It was there that he got the nickname Fireball, but it didn't come from car racing. It came from playing baseball. The name stuck. In 1945, when Glenn was in high school, his family moved to Daytona. Daytona was, and still is, one of the hot spots of car racing. There the racing bug bit Fireball hard. In 1947, Fireball raced for the first time at a local race in North Wilkesboro, North Carolina. Three years later, he won his first official NASCAR race in Hillsboro, North Carolina. That year, he finished second in NASCAR in the number of points won. He was only 21 years old. Fireball worked hard to learn all he could about racing and race cars. He wanted to be one of the very best. By 1957, Fireball had many fans and many victories. That year, he was named NASCAR's most popular driver. Fireball had another big year in 1958. Of the 10 races he entered that year, he won six, finished second in one, and was third in another. 
Fireball was the hero of a new era for NASCAR. Racetracks called super speedways were being built. Super speedways are at least one mile long and designed for top speeds. Fireball ruled these racetracks. He was named Florida's Professional Athlete of the Year. It was the first time the award was ever given to a race car driver. Soon Fireball began to talk about retiring from racing. He'd set over 400 records and was at the top of his sport. But he had other things he wanted to do. He wanted to fly his airplane and ride motorcycles. He decided to race just a few more times before leaving the track for good. Sadly, he didn't make it to retirement. On May 24, 1964, Fireball was driving in the World 600 race in Charlotte, North Carolina. Early in the race, he swerved to avoid a wreck and his car flipped. His fuel tank ripped open and exploded. Fireball was burned over 80% of his body. He spent six weeks in the hospital but never recovered. He was 35 years old. Fireball was buried in Daytona Beach, in a cemetery just behind the third turn at Daytona International Speedway. Fans and fellow drivers were heartbroken. Two good things came from the death of Fireball Roberts. NASCAR quickly developed rubber fuel cells that are almost impossible to pierce. And racers started wearing fire-resistant uniforms. These safety features have saved many lives over the years. Because of this and his amazing career, Fireball Roberts will always be an important part of NASCAR. Glenn Fireball Roberts 1929-1964 Sometimes called the best NASCAR driver to never win the championship. 33 wins out of 206 races, in the top 5 93 times, in the top 10 122 times. Set over 400 records. 1962 Daytona 500. Named one of NASCAR's 50 greatest drivers. International Motorsports Hall of Fame. Motorsports Hall of Fame in America. Richard Petty. Born in 1937. August 17, 1967. Columbia, South Carolina. Almost 7,000 fans stand around the dusty dirt track watching the San Leper 200 race. There are 199 laps down and one to go. All the drivers want to win, but the stakes are especially high for Richard Petty, in car number 43. Today's race has been wild. Out of 24 starters, 12 have left the track because of crashes or car trouble. If Richard can hang on and finish first, he'll have won the most races in any one season in NASCAR's history. Richard's 1967 Plymouth speeds around the last lap. He's able to stay in the lead. The crowd erupts as he flies through the checkered flags. Richard has just made history. Even more amazing, he'll go on to win eight more.